In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NaOH plus AlCl3, sodium hydroxide, this is aluminum chloride. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we write the states for each substance. Sodium hydroxide, that's a strong base, that's going to be aqueous. Chlorides are very soluble, so aluminum chloride and sodium chloride, they'll be soluble, split apart into their ions. But hydroxides, unless they're bonded to an element in group 1 like sodium or potassium, they're insoluble for the net ion equation here. So this is going to be a solid. That means it's a precipitate. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So those are the states for our net ionic equation. Now we split the strong electrolytes into ions, and that's going to give us the complete ionic equation. That'll look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They appear on both sides. We have reactants and products. So in the reactants, we have these three sodium ions. And again, in the products, those are spectator ions. We cross those out. We have three chloride ions here. And in the products, spectator ions, we cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for NaOH plus AlCl3. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium hydroxide plus aluminum chloride. You can see the atoms, they're balanced, same on both sides. The charge as well, 3 plus, 3 times 1 minus is 3 minus. So 3 plus, 3 minus, net charge of 0. Over in the products, this is a neutral compound, net charge of 0. So... That's it. This is our net ionic equation. We have this aluminum hydroxide as our precipitate here, so we're going to keep that as a solid. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.